Hello and welcome to my video blog. This is Ash and I'm here to share the most up-to-date information with regard to maritime industry exclusively. Hey viewers, before we move on to the updates, I want to share one exciting and a special update with you all today. It says that Mr. R.S. Sharma, Chairman and Managing Director of ONGC, Mr. D.K. Pandey, Director Exploration and Mr. U.N. Bose, Director Technical and Field Services, jointly on August 2nd had a press meet and inaugurated spudding, the beginning of the drilling in the Cochin Basin. Initial this uh, observation appraisal assessment has been quite satisfactory. The well that has been spudded as per the well program given we call a GTO that is geotechnical order as per it will take about, about 101 days to complete and I have given the challenge, that professional challenge to the team of the Transocean that is the rig operator, the, the Schlumberger that is the logistics and the service provider and team ONGC, the challenge is that how much we are able to compress on this time. So these were the objectives as regards the prospectivity of the area. This is a rig uh, which is uh, starting our second phase of alternate important operation and the most important thing would be every second would count on the operation since it is state of art rig, every second would cost almost $10. So everybody has to look for the optimization of the operations so as to bring down the cost because cost would be of the order of almost 400 crores for such uh, deep water ventures. exciting information for you all. So let's start off with the first update. It says that DP World has announced it has handled more than 20 million TEU in the first six months of 2009 across its 49 terminals. We got this information through our source Sea Trade Asia. The next update is a European Union naval spokesman said over the weekend 
pirates have freed a Malaysian tugboat they had held for more than seven months. Somali pirates have freed Malaysian tugboat after seven months and all the 11 crew members are in a good health. And we got again we got this information through our source Sea Trade Asia. Moving on to the next update, <coughs> third Japanese yard files for bankruptcy. It says Sanuki, Sanuki Shipbuilding and Iron Ore Works Company, a Kagawa shipbuilder specializing in coastal and near seas vessels, filed a petition for the second time in five years with the Takamatsu District Court on July 29th for application of civil rehabilitation law. We got this information again through our source, Sea Trade Asia. <coughs> Auto Marine cancels shipyard contract. Last week, Singaporean shipbuilder Auto Marine found a legal loophole to terminate an agreement with the Kwidong Municipal Government to build a shipyard in the port city, which is in eastern China. We got this information through our source, Sea Trade Asia. The next, in, the next in update is production at Rasgas Train 6, eminent Exxon, Exxon Mobil. It says Exxon Mobil Corporation said over the weekend that production from its new liquefied natural gas unit in Qatar is eminent. Ras Laffin liquefied natural gas company Train 6 was, me was mechanically completed during the second quarter and uh, according to one of the Vice, pres Vice President Rev. David Rosenthal of ExxonMobil. It's, uh, we got this information through our source, Sea Trade <coughs> Asia. The next, inf uh, the next update is Starlight Marine new training program. It says Starlight Marine Services have implemented a successful training program in the tractor tug simulator at the California Maritime Academy since January, California Maritime Academy and Starlight Marine Services have joined forces and worked hard to develop a tractor tug simulator program using their newly constructed simulator center. We got this information again through a source Sea Trade Asia. The next, inf the next update is <coughs> the Panama Canal Authority, ACP, released its request for proposals for the fourth dry excavation contract, the second largest and most complex project after the locks contract. This, we got this information through our source, Maritime Reporter and Engineering News. The next update is, Cows Week Roundup 2. It says, clear skies, plenty of sun and westerly force 3-4 Building to five during the mid afternoon provided stellar conditions for two day of cows week. Commenting about the forecast before the first start, Stout Query, CEO of Cows Week Limited, said it's going to be a lovely sunny day, but again the wind is giving the course the course setters a tough task. It will gradually back through 90 degrees, but it's impossible for the forecaster to pinpoint the exact timing of the changes in direction. You can, you, can, you can get in-depth information about the updates through news.marinebistv.com and also you can be in touch with me through my blog ash.marinebistv.com. That's, that's all for today. See you tomorrow. Till then, take care and have a nice day. Bye.